Hi, it's Doug from DTA Designs Inc. In this video, we will be talking about the fire status update function within our fire department theme software. DTA Designs Inc. Fire Department software supports either the 5 fire status rating or the 4 fire status rating system. The website that we will be using during this video uses the 5 fire status rating system. Let's look at the current fire risk details that the general public would see. Today's fire status is currently set at very high. If the person viewing this page had signed up to receive fire status updates, or a firefighter who had already signed into the firefighter section of the website, then the thank you message will be shown. Otherwise, the following message would appear asking the person to sign up to receive fire status updates right to their inbox. You are currently looking at the home page after signing into the website. From the menu bar, click on the administration option. Your home page and administration page might look a little different as it is customized for your fire department. Also, not all options might have been turned on for your fire department. Click on the fire status button on the administration page. From the fire status home page, click on update fire status button. Select the new fire status from the drop down list. The fire status of very high is not shown in the drop down list as that is our current fire status. Since we've had a lot of rain in the past few days, we are going to set the fire status to low by selecting low from the drop down list. Next, we click on the update fire status button. We receive a pop up message informing us that the fire status has been successfully updated and that the fire status email notifications will be sent within the next 15 to 30 minutes. Click on the OK button on the pop up message. We will notice that the fire status image on the top right of the screen has been changed to low. We can also check by clicking on the fire risk details as this page is almost 100% matched to the general public fire risk details page shown earlier in this video. Why did I say almost 100% match? Is because in the firefighter section of the website, we receive a pop-up message informing us of the difference. As stated in the pop-up message, the blue box labeled only available in firefighter section and all the buttons in the box would not be available to the general public. Here we can see that indeed the fire status is set to low. We are currently viewing a sample email sent to the general public who either signed up to receive fire status updates or who has purchased a burn permit. Your fire department logo and name would be used on emails sent from your website. Above the fire status image, notice the wording regarding the fire status. The reason for this is just in case the person viewing the email has images shut off in their email program. The button Check Fire Status and Fire Restrictions Online would open your website on the Fire Risk Details page that we saw at the beginning of this video. At the bottom of the email is the option to unsubscribe from the Fire Status emails. The program used to view this email is Outlook 2016. We are now viewing a sample email sent to your firefighters. Once again, your fire department logo and name would be used on emails sent from your website. The program used to view this email is Mozilla Thunderbird. This concludes the fire status update function within the fire department theme software from DTA Designs Inc. Thanks for watching.